Hey everyone, it's Jordan Ray here. Again, with another video, this time uh, making use of a new tool called Parcel Bundler uh, to bundle together a bunch of um, code that we can then upload into Google Apps Script with that Clasp tool. Um, last week I talked about the, the Google Clasp that you can use to develop locally and then push it up to the cloud. And we're going to do a real world example of that today, where we're going to create a word cloud like this from the first chapter of Harry Potter in a document. So stay tuned, and we're going to talk about some apps script. All right, everyone, let's uh, get started here. Um, I'm going to use. Uh, if you watched my video last week, you might have seen me using the git bash prompt, um, but I was really annoyed with how slow that is, so I'm just using the regular Windows command prompt. Um, hopefully, if you're doing any kind of development on a Mac or on Linux, it's, it's a lot easier to use the terminal than it is in Windows. Um, though, I guess Windows is now starting to release their own kind of Linux bash terminal, but I don't use Windows often enough to try to figure out how to set that up here. So just basic command prompt. You can open this, I think, just with CMD. Um, yeah, just CMD. And we're going to go into my projects directory. And then I'm going to make a directory called WordCloud. And let me see the end of there. Now with parcel, we've got to install globally parcel bundler and I'm also going to install globally a thing called yarn which is a package manager just like npm is um, but yarn is kind of the latest and greatest of these uh, package managers um, kind of uses the same uh, packages that npm does but it's uh, supposedly faster and more secure, though how that all works, I don't exactly know. Feel free to let me know in the comments. Um, okay, now that that is done, we can go ahead and uh, kick back into it here. I'm going to run yarn in it, and I'm going to put the little Y flag on it, um, and that'll initialize this directory as a yarn project, give us that package.json, uh, so on and so forth. I'm also going to um, right off the bat, I'm going to add D3 and I'm going to add D3 Cloud. These are the two uh, packages that we're going to kind of bundle together here. Okay, and that didn't take super long. Um, and let's go ahead and open up Code Editor here right in this directory. I've got my Visual Studio code running. We're going to have to create a couple more files. OK, the first thing we've got to do is add an index.html. I'm going to then add a kind of a main.js. It's going to be our main JavaScript file. I'm going to add a styles.css. And we'll start with the styles, because there's going to be Nothing to this other than uh, I'm going to grab the HTML and body elements and I'm going to give them padding zero, margin zero, and overflow hidden. And that is it. Now, in the main.js, first thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to write console, console.log, and it, right, it works. So we can see what our bundler actually does. And then in index.html, you can use Emmet and you just type that um, exclamation point. Um, and it gives you a very boilerplate uh, bunch of HTML elements. Perfect. And I'm going to add in this main.js that I just wrote. I'm going to save that. And that is it for our HTML file right now. We're going to come back. We'll modify this just slightly in a few minutes, but I want to show you how Parcel actually works. 
because now that we have done that little bit of work, we can run parcel.index.html. And actually, wait, hold on, I'm going to terminate this job. And we're going to do parcel.index.html with the O flag. And that should open up a browser window. And it actually opened it up on my other monitor, so I'll just type it in here localhost 1234. And of course, there's nothing there. If you open the developer console, you should see it works. What it has done, and if we can grab the elements, you'll see that there's no padding or margin on this or anything. What Parcel has done is it grabbed all of this. It looks at this file here in your, um, we're going to have to do this later. Uh, it looks at this file, and then it grabs everything inside it. Um, and bundles it all together. So let's actually create some variables here with those packages that I added, D3 and D3 Cloud. Um, so what I'm going to do at the top of my main.js, we're going to require D3. I'm going to declare Cloud, require D3 Cloud. and I've got styles, and I'm going to just require that uh, styles.css file that I created, and that will get us started. Now, the rest of this code that we're going to use to start, we're going to just take it from the examples um, on uh, the website itself. In the examples folder, there's a browserify file. I'm just going to copy all of this and paste it right in, and that'll get us started. Um, but we get, do have to make some changes here. So to start off with, how are we going to change this? Well, this variable here is actually deprecated. So this fill is going to have to become d3.scaleOrdinal. D3. Dot, um, what is it? Scheme cat, yep. Scheme. Category 20. And I think that is enough to get it working. That'll create this fill function, and then it's being used down here to actually um, uh, color the, the words that, we, could that come into our word cloud here. Now, the rest of this, oh, we actually want to change the height. We want it to fill the whole thing. So we're going to call this window.inner uh, width. And window inner height. Okay, perfect. And everything else should be good to go. Let's take a look at this page. Um, check the console. What have I done wrong here? Uh, words. Oh. You cannot put your semicolons in the middle of a, as you're chaining together these methods. That is going to screw you up. Um, oh, and for styles, because it's in the directory, you need a uh, relative. Is that that's a relative location or absolute? Yeah, relative path uh, because it's pointing to a file in this directory. These are actually pointing to node modules, which get created in this node modules folder. Um, and, you know, Parcel is actually going to figure all that stuff out for you. So now it says built. We got a little green check mark. Um, which browser am I in here? Let's refresh this browser. And there we go. There are some words. Uh, but it didn't actually give me my styles on the page. I don't know why not. Um, styles equals require styles.css. Styles.css. Okay, we'll come back to that. Let's get everything else working here. Um, now, we're going to be pushing this up with the clasp tool. And to do that, we're going to have to make a few more modifications 
to make it work with F script. So I'm going to change this um, array. In fact, I'm just going to cut it, and I'm going to call this all words. And then I'll save that. That might give us a few errors, but we're going to ignore them for right now. Then in the index.html, I'm going to create another script tag, and we're going to call this const all words equals. And let's just paste that in there. And make sure I still have a green check mark. Yep. And good, good to go. Um, oh, now it seems to have grabbed our CSS. I don't know why it didn't load on that first try. But now this is not enough words. We want it to fill the whole screen. And we're going to be grabbing, eventually, we're going to be grabbing all the text from this, uh, you know, the, the one of the greatest documents ever written. Um, and to do that, we got to actually send everything into the cloud. Um, let's. I already have it open here. I think I just accidentally closed it. Oh shoot. Okay, so let me call this a uh, new script, and we'll call it um, Word Cloud Script. And da, 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 da. saving project, saving project, perfect. Okay. Now in file, you're going to go down to project properties, and it should be the script ID. Um, yeah. Let's start with that and go back over into our console. And what parcel does is it actually, if you look at your, oops, can't use Linux commands, um, you'll see this dist folder, this distribution. It's actually compiling all your code right into that folder. So I'm gonna go in here and clasp. Um, if you remember from my last video, I've already installed clasp globally. Um, but if you haven't done that yet, you should be able to do uh, global add at Google uh, Clasp um, and then run that. Okay, so if you've installed that Clasp tool, we're going to actually Clasp clone and then paste in that script ID. And let's go ahead and do that now. And it should. Da, 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 cloning files, cloning files, who knows how long this will take. Okay, great, so it's done that cloning, and actually I'll open up uh, Visual Studio again, and in this disk folder you can actually see now, um, it's code.js uh, that we just pulled in, this is an empty function, index.html, uh, which is just pretty much copied straight over from here you know, from our main directory. And, you know, some real jumbled up um, files here. Now, um, what we're gonna do, now, what we're gonna do next is make some modifications and get ready to push this up into the, uh, into the cloud directory. In code.js, I'm gonna just type out some boilerplate code here. We're gonna make this a do get function, and I need to declare an HTML variable with the HTML service, and we're going to create a template from file, and that's gonna be from the index, and then we're gonna do HTML.words, wins words equals, just do an empty array for now. We're gonna return HTML, evaluate, and then we're gonna set the title to uh, word cloud. And I'm going to declare a get words oh, function below this. Um, and I'm going to just call this a, uh, let's just do words, it's an empty array, and return words at the bottom. We will type that out when we. Um, actually push this into the cloud. And 
Let's actually push an ID into there. And we will, I'll just go ahead and type some of this out now. Um, it, I think it's document. It's harder without the, uh, the autocomplete. But may, hopefully, you know, as these more people start doing these kinds of projects, um, you know, that kind of, those kind of tools will get uh, developed. Um, document app, we're going to open by ID. I'm going to put that ID in there. And we're going to get body. I believe it's just get body. Um, and then we're going to call this words is equal to body dot get text. Um, that might have to change in a minute once we push all this up here. Now, I think I might have... Um, uh, well, we'll see. We'll, we'll play around with this in a minute. Um, in index.html, I want to... That should be okay. Um, oh, I need to create an ignore file. Yeah. Okay, so then, whoops. Not open to the side. So in this dist, I need to do a new file. I'm going to call it class ignore. And I want it to ignore everything except for the app script.json file that it gave us. I don't want to ignore the code.js. And I don't want it to ignore index.html. And I don't want it, to, there's one other thing that we got to push up there, and we're going to actually call it. Um, let's rename this to word cloud dot html and I need to actually grab all of this and not all of this at the top. I'll just do a script tag. Oh, it doesn't have uh, autocomplete. Script. Um, oh. Before we can do that, <laughs> before we can do that, we've got to actually do a few other things here. We need to actually build this out into a project. So to do that, let's do yarn, not yarn. Mm. Um, we're parcel build index.html. And this should take all of our stuff, bundle it together. We should see a few things change here. You can save the class ignore file. Okay, so it took 27 seconds, and let's take a look at what our dist directory looks like now. Um, we still have all of these kind of uh, gibberish files. That's okay. I want to delete this word cloud.html that I've created here. And I want to go back to this .js, and if you look at this, look how crazy that looks. It's minified everything. It's injected a bunch of D3 code in there, um, and it's left us with this jumble of uh, text. And all I'm going to do is just add an open script at the top. I'm going to go all the way to the bottom. There's probably like a thousand lines in there, maybe two thousand lines. Hopefully not two thousand lines. We need to go all the way to the bottom, 894 lines, and then close that script tag. Uh, let's go ahead and save that. Um, because I'm filming, it really slows down the, uh, um, <laughs> the the way the editor works. That's funny. HTML. Um, and that is, it should be all good to go there. I'm actually going to rename this so that it's got a little easier. I'll just call it Word Cloud. Okay. And now... 
we should be able to push this into the cloud. So let's do clasp push. No clasp stitches. Oh, I'm in the wrong directory. You've got to go into the uh, dist folder and then clasp push. And that's no problem. Pushing these files, it might take a little bit longer because that bundle is actually quite large. Um, App Script is probably not really designed to handle something of this size, but we're going to go with it anyways. Now, if I refresh this, I should see all that code that I brought in. And, um, oh, you know why? I didn't push the um, bundle. And to do that, we need to actually, oh, I need to modify my clasp ignore. Um, having some brain issues because it is a little bit late for me. Uh, let's see here. I want to call this um, wordcloud.html. So that's going to get pushed into the cloud. Also, let's run this one more time. Class push. And it's pushing. This one will take a little bit longer because it is such a large file. And now I've got that wordcloud.html pushed up. And if I go back over here and refresh this code, um, now we've got this .html. Now, I wouldn't actually click on it. You can. It shouldn't hurt it, but it'll take a little few minutes to load and um, we don't need to make any more modifications to this file. Um, that that file is pretty much uh, as it should be. The, the changes we're going to make are actually to our index.html and those are quite simple. Um, the script tag here, oops, turn it around. Everything's in line for um, you know, just try to minify as much as you can. So we're going to remove this whole script tag, and I'm going to put some templating in here. And it's just HTML service dot create HTML output from file, and I'm going to put the index uh, file in there. Oh no no no! Sorry, not the index file. The word cloud file and then I want to get content and that right there will give us the giant bundle uh, inside of our project we're gonna go back over to code and I'm gonna create an ID variable and this is gonna be my text here um, you know it might be better to develop this as an add-on um, so maybe that's a task for any motivated people out there, kind of turn this into an add-on that'll uh, basically run in documents, and then you can turn any document into a word cloud. That'd be cool. But right now, we're just going to simply do this as a web app. And so it's getting words with this ID. We're going to create an array here. Let me delete this kind of boilerplate code that I had done. And we should have, I think this should work, body.get text and that'll give us one long string of everything um, then I want to actually uh, remove um, all the punctuation so let's uh, replace and then I forget there's gonna be a regular expression that we're gonna put in there um, and then we're gonna replace it then we're gonna split it into a giant array so we're gonna split it on every space um, and you can even do things like you can probably filter out words like the and a. Um, that'd be pretty great. So uh, let's save that. And um, I'm gonna. I need to find a uh, JavaScript filter out punctuation reg regular expression. Um, and of course, Stack Overflow is right at the top from seven years ago. This is this uh, uh, response. Stack Overflow is such a great resource for these little things that you can't remember yourself. Oh, perfect. Replace. And I'm just going to grab this little bit of 
this little regular expression here. And where did my code go? There it is. Uh, so we're going to put that right on into this replace method. I'm going to space these things down. And there's my words. I'm going to return words back to here. Pop it in. And we're going to go ahead and publish this. Um, I'll do anyone, even anonymous. Execute it as myself. So we're going to hit deploy. It's going to ask me to view my documents because I'm accessing this uh, word cloud here. And I want to allow that. And let's take a look at our latest code. Perfect. Um, what you're seeing here are the words from the index.html. You've got all words as this array. But we created a words array that we're attaching to the HTML template. And we want to put that in here. To do that, we've got to access the this template again. And I think we want to do json.stringify. And we want to put that words array in there. Let's see if that works for us. We should have a ton of words now. Let me open up the console just to see if there are any errors for what we've done. But if all goes well, um, you've got a ton of words. Awesome. Very cool. Now, everything is way too big. And those are the kinds of uh, little things that you can play around with much more easily on your local machine. Um, in your development environment, I would just come down here to, I'd remove padding, I think. Or maybe let's just turn padding down to one. Um, I don't want to rotate. I want to actually do, let's turn this down to, to 90, turn it down to 20. That works. And I'm not going to take all the time to push this up to the cloud again. Um, but I will push this code up onto GitHub. Go ahead and pull this into your own projects. Start playing around with Parcel Bundler and seeing how, um, seeing really what you can do with bundling these kind of packages together and then pushing them up as part of your own project to create something new. Um, but do be careful if you look at this directory that gets kind of parsed together here. Um, the HTML file that I'm actually pushing up is almost 400 kilobytes. So, because when it pulls in D3 and, you know, uh, bundles it all together, uh, it gets, can be quite a large file. So, have fun with the code, and I will talk to you soon.